Hello everyone, how are you? My name is Marcos from Spotaho, Madrid and today I'm gonna show you this really convenient 4 bedroom apartment. It's located in Calle Martín de los Ceros, which is in Arguelles district and you have Arguelles station in a less than 5 minutes walking and there you can use line number 6 and line number 4 but you can also go, go walking sorry, to Moncloa which is the students area let's say because you over there you have many many universities and when you walk around Moncloa you see many students many pubs for students restaurants with low prices for students so it's really convenient if you are coming to Madrid to study in the university this four bedroom apartment has uh, two exterior bedroom and two interior ones but still well you see now on the video it's not quite dark we could say it's recently painted it, this this blue you see on the walls it's painted newly painted and you have a kitchen and a bathroom to serve this apartment has just in front a school so i will show you the students right now from the window and it has a path right down right at the door of the building so if you follow me i will show you the house okay let's go this is the main door of the apartment, okay? And you will see, as I told you on the introduction, that paintings are absolutely new. This blue you see on the wall, you will find it on the corridor and inside the bedrooms. If you still feel the echo, it's because the house is absolutely empty. You have this telephone just in case people want to ring you from downstairs, but still you are on the first floor of a building with elevator which is fantastic okay let's start from the beginning let's start from this left side of the property with the kitchen so this is the entrance this is the main corridor organizing the house and the left thing the first thing on the left is this fully equipped kitchen which should be enough for four people it's tiny, could be tiny, let's say, but you have the fridge with the freezer in here, the sink, the washing machine, the microwave, and plenty of storage. You have some shelvings in here, as you can see, more shelvings over there, these cupboards, and more in there. Okay, this is the kitchen for this four bedrooms apartment and just next to it we will find bedroom one this bedroom one which is the smallest definitely the smallest let's see it's a square let's say with a single bed a selvin more selvins over there this would be the wardrobe for you and the desk this is the uh, ikea wardrobes if you open it you see that you have a space i was living one year with this wardrobe exactly this one and you get used to it you also have radiator and the views goes to this interior patio well i didn't show you but you can dry your clothes in here in this string that goes to the kitchen as well so that's the tiny window of this apartment and that's why it seems a bit dark this interior bedroom this bedroom number one again walls are newly painted and that's fine that's a really good point of this property because with this blue it, it seems much more brighter okay so we saw bedroom number one and the kitchen this is bedroom four so i will come at the end check the corridor from here it makes like an l you can see it on the floor plan at the end of this corridor we find the bathroom but in here first we have this bedroom two bathroom bedroom three the exterior one and bedroom four which is the best one in my opinion let's see this bedroom two so remember bedroom one was interior this bedroom two is interior too the window go 
goes to the same interior patio window is exactly the same size but this bedroom too it's much bigger you have the standalone wardrobe a real one let's say single bed this shelving and the desk again i repeat it can seem maybe it seems small let's say i mean maybe it seems dark sorry dark not a small this is big but this is because of this window going to the interior patio it's a tiny window but it's fine it's fine with this with this color on the walls it's perfect and you can still walk this that's a long bedroom okay this bedroom too fantastic this is the bathroom it's just a standard bathroom with a large window going to the interior patio the sink the mirror the toilet and this shower that you can use as a bath it is spacious this bathroom i like it and let's go with the two exterior bedrooms probably the best part of this property this is bedroom three with a double bed a standalone wardrobe the desk and this chest of drawers this standalone wardrobe is doing like that because bedroom is doing like that is you cannot put it let me see if I know how to explain it to you. Do you see that it's in a strange direction, let's say? That's because the wall is coming like that. You cannot put it straight to the corner. It has to remain like this. You also have this desk. And you have a space. The floor is new as well. As well as the paintings on the walls. This bedroom three, really cool. And that's this window going straight to the street. There you have the school, I told you, and the students. And this is a French balcony. I think they call it French balcony because you have two windows, the first one and the second one. And I think they call it French balcony because it is a balcony, but there's not a space for you to go outside of the balcony, let's say. I'm going to show you again this corridor because as you saw at the beginning, this corridor takes you straight to this bedroom number four. We come from there, bedroom two, bathroom, bedroom three, and this is bedroom number four. And this one used to be a living room, that's why it's the biggest area of the property. It is quite spacious, I really, really like it. This is the, my favorite, with the single bed and the desk. This door, like French balcony again. You have the standalone wardrobe and it is quite, quite spacious. Okay, and that's pretty much this four bedroom apartment located in Calle Martín de los Heros, right between Arguelles and Moncloa, really convenient for students. So if you like it, you can go now and book it with a spot at home.